What is up guys? Uh, just another server guy coming at you with a um, new video here just talking about my new Lenovo iX2 storage device here. Um, this one I ordered off Amazon. It came with two hard drives already installed, both uh, two terabyte capacity and it's in RAID 1 so it will have two terabytes of storage available. But um, yeah, this is just a general overview of what I think. I haven't been using this for more than a day yet, so I can't give a long-term review. But this is just um, my start, or my review of it. And I'm just going to show some of the features here and um, how it works. So basically, you connect the device uh, through uh, a power brick that's provided with the server itself. So you can see this is a USB cable I have plugged into a printer, but we'll get to that later. So they provide this network uh, network cable here. Uh, the network cable is included, so you don't have to worry about getting one. And then down below here we got the power cable, which connects to a uh, power brick, uh, like you would see a phone charger almost. So that's the back. It has a silent fan. This little fan runs at around 800 RPM all the time. You can monitor its RPM from the web console, which I will also show you. But um, this little fan is great because, as you can hear, you can't really hear it. So this is great for small offices, rooms. Well, in my scenario, I'm keeping it in my room, so it has to be quiet. And then the other nice thing that I wanted to point out was the USB port. You can use this to plug in, uh, say, a USB drive to copy files directly from the machine here. Or you can do like I'm doing. Uh, you can plug in your... Uh, printer and this makes any printer that's not already enabled a print server which is a nice feature so that was the back of the unit here I'll just give you a side look here it has a very nice sleek metallic plastic almost uh, looking to it and then um, yeah back to the front here you can see the Lenovo tag up in the middle here and then your power light and your status indicator light of the hard drives. So now I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the console management window. It is all web based which is pretty nice. Uh, you do have to download one program but it's a simple small program and it isn't annoying like some others. So yeah let me go show you guys that now. Hey there guys what's up I just wanted to show you what the process is after you do get this Lenovo device um, what you have to do you're gonna have to go to this link here I'll have it linked in the description you're gonna need to go to the download instructions here and select whether it's your client for 64-bit or 32-bit windows depending on your system so just download one of these and then once it has finished installing you'll come up with a program that looks a lot like this now this is where you can keep all your this is where you can manage all your folders from and this is also what syncs the folders with the actual system so this is necessary every time you add a new share through the web console you always have to refresh it here it'll search the server for any more new files and should pop up and then whenever it does pop up it will go into the my computer section here and you'll see them all mounted as network drives um, so basically you would see this on a first time setup and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this address that it gives you and you're going to type that into a web browser and this will bring you to this page here now for a first setup you're going to want to go to slash manage and it should if this is your first setup ask you for a few things but um, since I already set it up it's not going to so basically here from you can uh, edit your media so you got options to upload YouTube folders uh, torrents surveillance manager Flickr, facebook social media all that stuff if you go on the storage tab you can see copy jobs this basically copies um, different uh, images and things from one uh, location to another so for example i have my pictures being backed up from my old server to the new ix2 and whenever you do want to run that just click the green go button and it should start storing also from the storage section uh, you can also um, see drive management if you go here it'll show you how much you have used 
and it says here total drive size 3.64 terabytes capacity 1.8 and then I've already used 25 gigabytes uh, you can also set it up to be in mirroring RAID 1 or RAID 0 depending how you like it I prefer RAID 1 just for the security and that is the storage section that's how you can tell how many or how much storage you have left and then here's where you're gonna manage your shares so you're gonna go under storage and then you'll see the shares folder and then this is where you add the folders that appear in the uh, window here under my computer so basically to add a new share you're just gonna click this button here type in the name click create and you've now created a new share folder now you're gonna to wanna to open up the Lenovo EMC storage manager click refresh on your Windows PC give it a second and it should pop up here you'll see test right on the refresh command and you see it right here you're gonna to want to double click it just so that this way you can open it in a uh, Windows Explorer and it'll ask you to mount the drive because you will be mounting it in a um, Windows folder uh, and then you select what letter you want it to be and then click finish and in your computer go ahead and refresh if it's not there yet and you should see the directory that we just made right there and then from this point on you can make new folders and store things in here and that is how you would mount a drive with this that's very basics of this it can do a lot more than that you can add video surveillance you can add more features you can add even more of this but i'll add that in part two so thank you guys for watching my general overview and what I think, and all in all, I would definitely recommend this network attached storage for anyone looking for a small little NAS just to store their data.